uh, let's take a look at this shot. So this shot I'm gonna look at is um, just picking up these reds here and just transforming them just, just a tiny, a tiny little amount. I wanna sort of maybe push them a bit more towards the, uh, towards the orange, kind of darken them down a little bit. But I only wanna deal with these reds up here. I don't wanna be dealing with the other stuff on this side at all. So let's see how far we can, we can get this. So I take my little HSL here and just dab around and scrub around until I've got a good area here. Saturation I can change up a little bit. And lightness, so the luma values. Can deal with them just a wee bit as well. Okay, so if I take a look at that there, I've got in all of these areas here, got in all these areas here, in fact, I haven't got that area, which I'm very interested in, which is saturation, which is gonna be bright saturated. There we go. But I've also brought in all of this stuff here, which I don't wanna to touch. So what do we do? We turn my vignette, keep a circle. Come in here and we can just see this area here is now what we're affecting. Uh, I might even want to take this just a little bit further because I'm bringing this in here. So maybe let's see if I can, if taking this back. No, I can't take that back too far. So let's just bring the whole thing in. Again, tiny amount of blur on there just to even out some of the noise detail. I might revisit that in a second, depending how that how that looks. So um, yeah, let's just push this a little bit darker. So just come to the gamma, push it down a little bit there, push it a little bit towards the orange as well. There we go. So I just made a very small, very subtle change with um, the reds there. But when we come to look at the color effects room in the next exercise, I think we're going to come back to this shot and do uh, a bit more stuff in that in that same style. Because of course the color effects room here, we've got the same, um, pretty much all the same qualifiers as we have in the secondaries. It's just actually in the, in the color effects room, we've got um, maybe a little bit more control over them than we do in the secondaries. It's just a little bit more involved to, to actually get them working, but we will be working with those quite nicely. So just a final little thing here. I just come to my overexposed areas here. I just want to pull back some of these, um, some of this overexposed area. Uh, and I'm not even going to pull a key. All I'm going to do is just come to my Luma here, turn everything else off, just pull it, get a nice sort of soft Luma key coming down here. And I can either, let's have a look at my waveform there. Let's see what happens when I bring the gain down just a little bit on that. I can stop some of that clipping. So we can see we've got a little bit of um, more detail coming in here. So before all of this stuff's clipped out, we see it's going well over the 100. And um, afterwards, we're just working on this area here on the um, on the highlights. And that's just taking taking that clipping in. Um, so it's just another little way to, uh, uh, to use some of these uh, keys here. And in exercise six, I'm going to show you a nice little trick we can use with this Luma key here uh, to really limit the um, the corrections that we make in a certain and give a really nice quick tone to uh, to an image.